this is the voting unit we have provided eight switch for each candidate switch one switch two switch three and like this switch eight switches are there the voter has to press uh, key respective this to the each candidate here we have provided the lcd to show various messages and this is the buzzer which will be turned on when the vote is given now this is the controlling unit uh, this has basically three keys one is voting counting mode key this is clear votes key and this is authority key now let's turn on the power supply electronic voting machine it is showing welcome to voting mode please vote now the voter has to press the key key is pressed the vote is registered now the keypad is locked even if we press the key the vote will wa will not be registered now the government authority has to press the authority switch once the authority switch is pressed and it will show please wait vote so again we have to press the key the vote is registered the same process will follow authority switch and it will display please vote okay now let's see the counting mode in counting mode we have to switch the toggle switch to the counting mode now this is switch to the counting mode now lcd will display welcome to counting mode and it will display select candidate now we have to press the keys candidate 1 vote equal to 2 then candidate 2 vote equal to 1 candidate 3 vote equal to 1 candidate 4 vote equal to 0 now let's see about the clear vote switch the green switch is for clear votes when we press the switch it will display clearing votes and after some time it shows all votes are cleared now we can see if we press any key lcd will display votes are zero that's all about the electronic voting machine now let's turn off the power supply and let's see the circuit inside This is the microcontroller used. This is the Max32 IC used for PC interfacing, and this is the E square from IC uh, used for storing the uh, votes. And this is the connector for buzzer. And here you can see the power supply and the transformer.